What's up people on YouTube and welcome to another DIY vlog video. And so this DIY vlog, I will be doing my, for the first time some shoe painting. You know what I'm saying? I got these shoes for $8.99 recently. Rockerwear shoes, $9.00. And the main reason why I picked these up that made me, that caught my attention to pick these up, ain't that many things that match this shirt. This bad boy right here. Got the black stitching, the way I wear my shirt. I fold the cuff up like this, and underneath the cuff, it happened to have black. Got black going down right here. So I'm like, ooh, okay. Not only do these match, I can do a little project, another DIY vlog. So it's like this first part for this particular DIY. Um, just want to show you guys just to set it up let you guys know what's going to happen inside this inside this series of this uh particular diy i got some shoe paint it already done came in already black leather you know so i think you can also buy these i think we sell this inside the store inside walmart you can buy this inside one of your craft stores but um i just don't be knowing which ones to buy so i just happen to look online and just you know look up shoe paint and boom this is highly rated and looked up some videos and I can't wait to use this bad boy. So if you're looking at the shoe, if I, you know, I'm bringing up some close-ups. Now, if you look at the shoe, you'll realize I got some black markings on the shoe. That's done with a permanent marker. Got each section marked off where I want to put black at. So, um, yeah, I think I got a nice little vision of how I want the shoe to look, especially with that part that got like the little, um, I don't know how to um, describe it, but it got like a little strip of like a little, like, like scales kind of. When I paint that black, it's gonna look nice going around the shoe. You know, that little part looking black. So, yeah, it's gonna be a nice looking shoe by the time I'm done. And I can't wait to get started. Let's go ahead and read some of this bottle. Uh, I think that's how you uh, pronounce it, Angelus. Yeah, Angelus brand. Black acrylic leather, black acrylic leather paint. Keep out of reach of children. Um, it's a four ounce bottle. Hence, Angelus acrylic. Leather paint colors can be mixed to attain other colors. It always, it's always best to apply multiple thin color, multiple, multiple thin coats. Damn, can we read right now? So when properly applied, Angela's acrylic leather paint will provide a flexible, water resistant finish. Allow paint to dry for at least 48 hours before use. For more tips and tricks, please visit our website or YouTube channel. So, boom. All right. Directions. Apply with a fine paintbrush or sponge pad. Allow to dry between coats. Acrylic leather paint may be applied with a spray gun or airbrush. For best results, make sure acrylic is clean. Oh, sorry. Make sure article is clean before application. Allow to dry completely before wearing. Clean up with soap and warm water. Warm water, excuse me. For high gloss and scuff protection, apply a coat of Angela's acrylic finisher or neutral leather paint after paint dries. I heard somebody, someone said inside their video that they wish they never applied that because it looked real good before they put that on there. So I guess it kind of took away some of the glossiness or some of the you know look of it. Caution: Some leather articles may have why can't it say leather um, material or leather products? But some leather articles have a silicone factory finish. Somebody mentioned that in the video too. It may be necessary to clean these items with Angela's leather deglazer or Angela's spot remover. Silicone treated article may cause acrylic leather paint to not adhere correctly. So yeah, I heard that that, that could be an issue. So it doesn't look like this has any protection coat on it. What they're talking about is like, let's say you got your car waxed, but then you're trying to paint right after you got your car waxed. Like it's not gonna really stick like that because it's waxed, you know what I'm saying? So stuff is gonna kind of like, not really stick, it's gonna kind of like fall off. So that's, 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 that's pretty much what they're saying. So it doesn't look like there's any finished coat, maybe on this part right here, but it doesn't look like there's really, really nothing to Nothing on here that's gonna really stop it from up here, up piecing, up hearing, or whatever the word I'm looking for. So with that being said, that's gonna do it for this first part, first episode for this particular DIY project I got coming for you guys. Can't wait to get started on it. I'm trying to kind of wondering should I go ahead and get the stuff to prepare the um, surface just to play it safe. I might see if my store sells something. 
you know, I'm pretty sure we do. It's at the paint area or fabric crafts area that, you know, you can put on surfaces to get it prepared for painting. So with that being said, people of YouTube, that's going to do it for this episode. Stay tuned if you like DIY uh, videos and stuff like that. You may want to subscribe. Um, I normally do voiceovers, do my videos real professional, even on the green screen, do nice, nice little product shots, close-ups and stuff like that. But I decided to do like a, a vlog series. Like I love vlogs and I love, you know, doing vlogs and just the whole concept of seeing exactly how somebody do something and then they're breaking it down uh talking to you it's like a it's like a experience and that's why i like it and that's why i decided to do my diys as a vlog format just to you know have different episodes and just go through and, and go from start to finish and keep in mind it's not a tutorial that's different you know these are vlogs of me you know, it's still kind of like a tutorial. I'm still showing you and giving you some tips of what I'm doing and certain things I'm doing. But I'm, it's not like, OK, step one, do this. OK, now the next step, do this. Like, it's not one of those videos. It's a, it's a vlog of me, you know, DIYing. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. First episode for the shoes. Can not wait? I really want to get started on them like right away. But, I, you know, just want to be patient for that right now. I got other things to do. Got some stuff to uh, do inside my vehicle this morning. So you guys do not want to miss how these bad boys turn out. So um, if you want to see more, subscribe.